the St Mary's uh, for West Ham against Southampton in the FA Cup. The winner of this game will go to the quarter-finals. Um, we've come to this game following West Ham, but we're in the Southampton end. And because it's one of them, it's a Premier League on Premier League fixture, we're just going to be neutrals, but I think we might hope Southampton goes through because the players don't boot cats. Yeah, so we're outside the St Mary's Stadium, giving out three red balls. I'm going to grab one of them. And um, yeah, can't wait for this one. Right, hey, mate, so uh, can you tell us a bit about your, your history with Southampton Football Club? Well, I've been a supporter of several clubs simply because my dad was a footballer, but he was mainly known for, as a footballer here. My dad was called Mick Shannon, who um, older viewers would remember. He's the club's record scorer. And in between, I was a bit of a turncoat because he played for Manchester City and Norwich and what have you. And um, essentially, but it's, it's our family club. So we grew up here and uh, that's basically my part of history. Oh, nice. Uh, so FA Cup as a kind of competition across across the years, what's it mean to you? It means everything, which I don't think the managers just picked the side there now. West Ham have got more or less their first for tonight's game and we've made a few changes, so I'm not entirely sure of uh, where we're going, but it means everything to the fans because all we people of my generation have only ever heard of 1976 when I was 18 months old. We've never replicated that and I wish they would, which is why, you know, FA Cup comes around every year and you've been following it and you know, you know, I'm sure you've got the bug as well. So it means a lot of, lot of fans and, uh, you know, it's one of them, isn't it? It's just, it's the cup. It's the only cup. It's the only cup. Uh, we've stood by this Ted Bates statue here. Yeah. What's the deal with the foot? People keep t rubbing the foot. People do it for luck, I think. Ah. And it's, uh, yeah, Ted Bates was with the club for over 60 years, from a player to a manager to a director to life club president. So he brought us up from the third division all the way to, um, all the way into Europe, into the first division in the in the in the 50s and 60s. So, and he retired in 1973 after 16, 17 years as manager. He's Mr. Southampton, basically. Uh, final question, all the way through to final. Who do you want to meet? Who would you? I don't care to? as long as we beat them. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to two cup finals now. I went to the 2003 FA Cup final when we got beat off Arsenal, who were a great side. And then um, five years ago, we got to the League Cup final and got beat off United when we arguably were the best side on the day. I don't really care, I just want in my lifetime to win a trophy, and the best trophy of all in my opinion is the FA Cup, and hopefully it's that, and this is our year. Amazing, cheers mate, thank you so Jacob, much. Jacob, thank you. Evening lads, good to see you again. I'm from Sheffield, and um, followed this FA Cup route for 12 rounds. Favourite highlight, I've got to say, is the goal that won the match for Hansworth in round four in Birmingham at uh, Ailes Owen. From the halfway line, I was right behind it and I nearly ended up on the pitch after celebrating <laughs> with the players. I've come here today from Alfreton. Uh, highlight of the uh, road to Wembley for me has got to be Kidderminster nearly beating West Ham. That's fantastic. Hi, I'm Pete. Uh, I'm from Derbyshire. Um, we've all travelled down together in Nigel's car. Excellent drive, by the way. Uh, my favourite bit of the FA Cup so far, at uh, Ailes Owen also, the atmosphere was absolutely brilliant and I saw one of the most brilliant pieces of skill I've seen on football field for years when a bloke fell down, overhead kicked it, ran round another player and beat him to the line and then crossed it in. What a moment. And that, that whole game was brilliant. Vince from Mansfield, uh, Mansfield Town fan, uh, joining a spy right on this journey. Uh, we've done every game together, although not met up until at Kidderminster against Reading. Um, I like my FA Cup run, meeting these boys that's doing the vlog. You. No. No. You. You're very good, you. No. You are very good. There's you. a lot more to it than that. You're very good, you. There are... And also, Al Zoin. Al Zoin against Hansworth was an absolute epic. Non Two divisions sp splitting the teams. Hansworth beating Han Al Zoin on their own pitch. Absolute fantastic. Right, lads, predictions for today. Oh, we've got that. Oh, we've already done it. We've already done it. 2-1 Southampton. 2-1 yeah. Southampton. 1-1. 3 one. One. <laughs> 1 Southampton. There's money on this. 2-0 West Ham. All after, <laughs> all, after, all after 90 minutes. And lads, great, great YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be better now. You're going to be better now. Thanks, nice one, lads. Oh, shame. Oh. Yeasty boys. <laughs>
the ground now. We've only got in late, it's an evening kickoff. But the teams are out. Carl Walker Peters is clapping at me. I signed him on football manager, so yeah we're ready. Jacob's got a pie. I have a vegan pie! He's buzzing, so we'll let you know what he thinks of that. Yeah, the atmosphere is great. I mean we've not had this on Cup Run yet. Biggest stadium we've been in yet. Um, wow, we can't wait. Southampton fans are a bit pissed off at the lineup. It's not yeah, the great nine changes they made. Well, we'll have to see. Right, it's about to kick off. Come on, Southampton! Up the Saints. So when the Saints go marching in. Here we go, vegan pie time. I don't know how you usually do it. Oh, hello. There's a corner. That is so good. That is so good. Well done, Southampton. What are you having? It's uh, broccoli, cauliflower, and cheese. But it's a ve like a vegan cheese option. I mean, uh, you tend to at a lot of the bigger clubs tend to have more of a food option. They get um, more capacity to do like vegan options and stuff. This is so good. I'm having a great time. Um, I don't know how I'd rate this because the only other thing I've had this chips. Just rate out of ten. I'll go. Nine out of ten. It's a nine out of ten. That's so good. Got a steak and ale pie. Got a steak and ale pie. Whilst watching the game, very unorthodox of me, but let's crack in. Crust is good. Oh wait, wait. wait. You know what? Oh, that's good. That is. Look at that. <laughs> that's, that's nice, that, you know. That's up there with the Macclesfield steak and stout. I'm 9 out of 10 in that. Ooh. 2 9 out of 10 to Southampton Pies. That gravy is different gravy. Good gravy. Cut that now, because I want to devour this bastard. Right, 1 0 at half time. Um, it was Perrault with a shot. Absolute thunder bastard, if I can say that. Um, and a beat bit, Yeah, incredible strike. Like I said, it's been quite an even game. I'd say Southampton have had the possession, but like you were saying before, West Ham had a few more chances on the break. But what do you think of that first half? Yeah, it was great. It was really good. I think uh, we, managed to get, uh, we managed to get seats quite close to the front as well. So it still feels a little bit uh, like in the past rounds we've been able to see the players. But obviously we're in such a bigger stadium now that we, this is the first time we're in a non The players are in the stadium. tunnel. It's time for the second half. Come on, you so there's loads, six. There's loads of other stuff like that. Like it was just uh, they were just firing t-shirts into the, yeah. into the crowd. We had, we had replays of the goals and adverts. It's such a different world now that we've actually got to the fifth round. You know, there's a lot of money being invested into this. And obviously the winner of this game will be in the quarterfinals. So that's one game until Wembley, yeah. the semi-finals. So yeah, it's obviously weird for us to do this in a Premier League club now. 
Like, doing this kind of thing at a non-league club's fine, but like, we're both just genuine fans of yeah. big clubs, aren't we? So, me bringing a camera to the Premier League, it's been like... Two for the Saints. <laughs> Coming off number 19, Moussa <laughs> Gineppo, to be replaced yeah. by number 17, Stuart oh. Armstrong. And oh, also we're sitting out now. That's the end of the game. Everyone's filtering out of the stadium now. Hassan Hill's just come over and done his thing. Um, yeah, really good win for Southampton. I would say they, it, it wasn't a 3 1 game to look back on it, but yeah, it, it yeah, was. Yeah. But like. Southampton's got the chances. Yeah. Well. But yeah, so we'll be following Southampton into quarterfinals, the FA Cup, and they'll be playing against Manchester City. Manchester City. Uh, well, Manchester City. Have some quality up front, but as long as Kevin De Bruyne doesn't play, then Southampton have always got a chance. Yeah, I do agree. So don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. If you've got any mates like footy, any Southampton fans, whatever, send it to them. Because it helps us out. We it does. Um, we're just football fans. We enjoy doing this. We enjoy speaking to people doing this. Um, shout out to all the my road to Wembley lot. Hope to see more of you in the next game. Also, we miss you, Gareth. We do. We'll be here next time. It's not the same. Not the I same. had to deal with this guy on my own. <laughs> at least with Gareth, I can just look at Gareth. Oh, we mow it, oh, we mow it, oh. <laughs> Wait, I'm not leaving. Where's the bar? <laughs> Come on, everyone. <laughs> Alright, we'll actually go now. <laughs>